you may lay down in the morning tonight and never wake up anymore. But you're going to wake somewhere. It may not be on this side of eternity, but you're going to wake up. It's time you listen to what I'm saying. Perilous, troublesome times are coming. There's going to be a time like there has never been. Now then, let me tell you all something. I can thank God. Brother Lee, we can thank God. Sister Mitchell, we can thank God. We can thank God because this is one time I'm proud I'm old. Hallelujah. I can take all the bumps and knocks that goes with it. Praise the Lord and all the hurts that goes with it. Brother Greg, I feel sorry for your girls. Hallelujah. Think about it. I feel sorry for your girls. I feel sorry for your children. Alice, I feel sorry for your grandchildren. Why? They've got something ahead of them that you and I have never seen. That's right. Oh, but Brother Walt, nothing is wrong. Sin, sin, I don't care why, how you paint it, what color you paint it, I don't care if you put every pretty picture on it there is. I was looking through my Bible today and I had a little had a little Valentine in there and it said to God. Sister Diane's little granddaughter walked up here one day a couple of years ago and handed me a little Valentine and when I looked at it I, I tears began to roll down my face. She said, Brother Walls, would you give this to God for me? I said, thank you, Lord, that somebody believes I'm close enough to God to hand me about it. Praise God. Think about this now. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Somebody has confidence in you. The babes and the serpents. Think about it. My God, God, brother Walt, I got plenty of time. Have you? Have you got any time? It's appointed unto man wants to die, and after this the judgment. Hebrews 9 27. It's time that you and I realize we are in the troublesome times. But I want to tell you something. If you'll read that 12th chapter of Daniel, you're going to find some more in there. These signs that you'll find in there are going to come to pass. Then the Lord's comes. <coughs> if you'll just take it and run reference on it, you're going to find some real deep things about this. Hallelujah. And about the days, you know, 300 and all of them, if you'll just count the days. You'll find out that we're on the short end of the stick. We're on the, we're going down. I want to see Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be left out of this thing. As they sang that song, there's a flight leaving here in the morning. Hallelujah. The destination is heaven. We come up the parkway. Women and I do when we're coming to church and we'll meet all kinds of tour buses. We meet all kinds of buses, people that singers and from Nashville and all kinds of them, you know. And, and you'll you'll meet all them. I know down to where Brother <coughs> Mitchell is, they see that on I-24. Now, let me tell you what the Bible says here. It says men, now this, this 12th chapter of Daniel says, that they'll run to and fro. Mm -hmm. They'll be going to and fro. Are we not, to, is not that happening today? Yes. Nobody's satisfied with anything. We are the most dissatisfied people in the whole world. We have more to be satisfied over. Hallelujah. 
and have more to be happy than anybody in the world, and we're the saddest people that God ever created. Come on, wake up, live, hallelujah. You want to go to heaven? As I told you before, this old, this old man that got off of the bus, there was on this off the plane, and this plane there was a celebrity on the plane, and whenever he come off of the off of the plane, the celebrity did. They had bands and set up, and they were waving and playing the bands and singing and doing everything. This old man that had been a missionary for all these years was coming home and retiring because of his age. He come down the down the steps from off the plane. All these were playing music for this celebrity that was on the plane, and he was waving at everybody. The old man said, "God, I spent I spent my life over there, not knowing where I was going to live another day or not, among the heathens, and there's nobody here." To meet me, and here's all these people and all these bands out here playing for this man because he was a singer or something. God spoke to the old missionary and said, But you ain't home yet. That's right. Hallelujah. I want you to know there's going to be a crowning one day. Amen. I'm going home. Amen. Amen. Hey, so another thing I want to point out to you in this 12th chapter of the book of Daniel, you'll find where God speaks about people like me. What do you mean He speaks about people like me and like you, them that win people for Him? Hallelujah. Thank God for that. Them that win brings people to righteousness. Now, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I won people for God. I don't know of anything. This afternoon when I was there was one thing I had going for me to feel this evening. Hallelujah. I was able to baptize Helen, pray at this altar with her. Thank God for that. Oh, Brother Walt, how do you know she's going to make it? How do I know you're going to make it? I prayed with you too. I baptized a lot of but how do I know you're going to make it? It's up to you. Sure. I've gone as far as I can go. I, I'm going to take you. I'm going to preach the gospel to you. I've helped you get in, get saved, and get filled with the Holy Ghost. It's up to you now. You want to stay sealed by the power of God, or you want to just play around? This is no playing time. You're on the short end of the stick. That's right. And you're going to answer to God. You're going to answer to God. Every idle word is going to stand before God. I just wonder tonight. I just wonder how many people that's sitting just in this audience here tonight is ready to go. What if Jesus comes right now? What if the trumpet sounds? The dead in Christ are going to rise. Listen, the twelfth chapter of Daniel tells you about that too. Many that sleep beneath the dust are going to wake. Some to everlasting life and some to everlasting contempt. But what does that mean? That means you're going to stand before God. Yes. Ready or not. I just want you to be ready. But Brother Walsh, you've been preaching all these years. Why ain't there thousands of people following you? They are. A lot of them that have been planted on the hillside out there. There will be a resurrection one day. Hallelujah. 
and I'm going to get to stand there and hear him say, well done, water walks. You fought a good fight. Them that you win for God, God's going to, God's going to remember them. He's going to remember where they're at. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, this don't just go for water walk. I'm just using him because I know him. But listen to what I'm telling you. This goes for you. Who have you won for God? Have you got anything for God? Have you won one? Amen. So, have you helped one person? Or have you been selfish? Well, for a long time, I may be a little selfish. Honey, you better not be one little bit selfish. You better be happy. God wants us, He wants us happy people. We are happy people. Yes, we are. We are happy people. Yes, we are. Being baptized in Jesus' name, spoken tongue when the Holy Ghost come. We are happy people. Yes, I am. <laughs> I want you to know that. I've had all of that experience. But I'm happy. I'm not sad. Praise the Lord. But Brother Wall, somebody looked at me the wrong way. I don't know how, what you're talking about when somebody looks at you the wrong way. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Sometimes I can't even hardly see people. You better be glad that you can even see. I can take my glasses off. I don't have to look at none of you. I take my glasses off and I don't have to look at none of you. Even though you're pretty whatever, everybody looks at me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can tell some of you got glasses on because they shine. <laughs> well, I better put them back on. Praise the Lord. Well, I can really see if somebody might throw something at me. Listen to what I'm saying. It's time that you and I realize we are on the short end of the stick. Let me tell you something else about that stick. That stick's greased. <laughs> 